Need for Speed Payback. That's the name of Need for Speed 2017, and it is coming out on the 10th of November. This is pretty much going to be a revenge story where you, playing as Tyler Morgan, is getting revenge on the crew that betrayed him. You're going to be trying to take down what is called the house, and they pretty much have their hands on everything, the cops, casinos, a lot of corruption is going on within Need for Speed Payback. And it's going to be pretty intense because you're also going to be building up your new crew, which by the looks of things is just going to be three people. You, as Tyler, I believe Mac, who by the looks of things is going to be the black guy with the yellow shirt. And then there's also a female driver as well. You guys are going to be taking down the house. And this is going to be pretty insane because apparently the house is going to be giving you hell along with the cops who they also have, you know, their hands in on as well. So, as we all know, the cops are going to be having the rhinos coming back. They're going to try to make them a lot more intense. And apparently, according to the Fox art, helicopter cops are also going to be in the game as well. So, it's going to be pretty hard to escape them. Now, with cars and customization, we see a wide variety of cars. We have, cu we have classics like the Chevy Bel Air, obviously the 69 Camaro, the Charger. Then we also have some imports like the R34 Skyline. We have the Z, which thank God it is back. We also have some American Muscle, like the Ford Mustang with the RTR kits. Then we also have some supercars like the Lamborghini. We see the Pagani Huayra. We also see the Conaze Regera. This is going to be pretty insane. Now, something that does kind of push me off, though, is the fact that there are going to be classes in the game just like the crew. Pretty much, we get the race spec, the drift spec, the off-road spec, the drag spec, and the runner spec, which I believe the runner spec might be a kind of raid spec style class where you pretty much use that to take down any opposing force. But there's nothing I can do about it. It's going to be pretty fun. I'm pretty sure. I'm hoping. It was fun in the crew. I'm pretty sure it's going to be fun in Need for Speed. It just bothers me that they kind of did an inspirational knockoff of the crew. But in a world of competition, this is something you should expect. Another inspirational knockoff you can say they did is now you can pretty much go out into the world and find all these junked cars take them back to your shop and make it good as new and start racing it around we see this being done with the 240z the Datsun within paybacks trailer and it looks pretty insane i'm pretty excited and this really does have me curious on just how open world this game is going to be because if you have a world that's big enough to where you can just place random junked cars in i'm curious and i'm excited so outside of that there's a lot more stuff that can be talked about but let me just pretty much round things off with the pre-order bonuses with the standard and the deluxe so for the standard which is going to be costing you 60 dollars the box art looks pretty nice i will say you get the car pack, you get the 2008 350Z, the 67 Camaro SS, the 69 Charger RT, the 2016 Ford Raptor, which yes, trucks are coming into the game and you will also be able to customize that, so that's going to be exciting. And then you also get the 2016 Golf GTI Club Sport along with exclusive Platinum Blue Tire Smoke. So does this mean you'll be able to customize how the smoke of your tires are going to look now. Who knows? This is going to be pretty exciting. Again, EA Plays is coming out really shortly, which is going to be pretty much their E3 style conference. And we're going to be seeing gameplay trailers along with a whole bunch of more information of the game. I'm hell of excited. I can't wait. Now, Going on to the Deluxe, which will be running you a total of 80 big ones, you'll get a 3-day early access, 
a story mission pack, which I don't know how I feel about, you know, locking story behind a paywall. I don't know how I feel about that, but it's happening. We get exclusive NOS color, which again, customization going to be even more intense. You also get the license plate leader bit leaderboard icon five shipments which worries me because since i don't know what this means yet my initial fear is microtransactions just like call of duties supply drops i really hope this is not gonna be a thing or at least not as bad as call of duties like please let it just be customization stuff only don't let it be, you know, get exclusive badass cars in your shipments that you have to pay for. That would be freaking annoying. We live in a day and age now with microtransactions. Everyone's doing pack openings and stuff. It's a nightmare. And it's putting so much money into the developer's pockets. <sighs> shipments. The potential need for speed microtransactions. Lastly, though, you do get five rep bonuses, 10% discounts in in-game purchases, and then, of course, the car pack that you received in the standard as well. And that's pretty much it for now. There's a lot more information I could talk about that you can also find on the site. I'll be doing another video on that as well. And outside of that, I hope you're looking forward to the next week or two because we're going to be doing a lot more videos on features that's coming into Need for Speed. And we're also be going to be getting the EA Plays, which they're going to be showing gameplay of Need for Speed and giving us a lot more news on what to expect from the game. So this is going to be hell of exciting. I can't wait. I hope you guys are excited as well. Need for Speed Payback. To be honest, I don't like the name too much, but it makes sense with what the game's going to be about. And I can't wait. I hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, this has been your boy Taking Heat, and I'm out. Peace.